My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, your place to find tips and tricks that you can use in the classroom. Now today we're going to look at Gmail and what we're going to do today is tidy up our Gmail. It's summertime, many are in between academic school years and so it's the perfect time to really clean up that inbox and get ready for the new school year. So let's jump into Gmail. Now, as you can see here, I have a demo account and this demo account has a couple of emails. Now, this works with small accounts, such as the one that you see here, and with larger accounts. I've actually just tidied up an inbox of mine that had more than 2,000 unread emails. So just as an example, we're going to do it in this small inbox, but all the steps that we are going to follow today can be applied to large, messy, inboxes. Now we're going to break it down into three steps. The first is all about unsubscribing and getting rid of all those additional emails that are coming into our inbox. The second step is we're going to label things, archive them and tidy things up. And then finally, we'll talk about when to delete or archive a message. Now as a fourth topic, we're also going to talk about search because Gmail being part of Google. Google was built on search and so the search within Gmail is incredibly powerful. Now here in this inbox, the first step is to unsubscribe and reduce the number of emails that are entering our inbox. Well, the fastest way that we can do that is by first looking at all the unread emails and then search for subscribe or unsubscribe because we are trying to unsubscribe from those newsletters that we're never opening. Now, in order to find those unread emails, we can go to the top where it says search and then type is colon and then it automatically pre-populates the options here and you can see the top option is unread. I'm going to select that. This is then going to pull up all the unread emails. You can see there's quite a few here and we can start going through this. Now, what we are going to do is look for those newsletters first and in particular the unsubscribe button because we are trying to unsubscribe from newsletters that we don't even open. So let's go ahead and add another search term here. We're going to add unsubscribe. Now I'm searching for all messages within the unread label that contains the word unsubscribe and it pulls up these right here. So let's go ahead and open up the first one. This is a newsletter and we can just scroll down to the bottom of this page and there we go. We have that unsubscribe button. So let's go ahead and click on that and unsubscribe from this email. Once we've done this, we're now going to delete this message. Let's do the same for the next one. Again, scroll all the way down to the bottom. We find that unsubscribe highlighted because we've done a search for it. Click on it and unsubscribe. Now, another way of unsubscribing to certain lists or emails that are arriving in your inbox is by using the unsubscribe here at the top. Now, do be careful using this because you can accidentally block an email address that you do want to receive different messages from. So I would only use this when you can't find the official unsubscribe link and you know that you will never ever need an email from that person. Okay, we're done with the first step. Now we're going to go into the second phase and this is archiving and labeling our messages. So we can go back to inbox. And the big difference here is that when you archive a message, it can still be found. Where can we find that? Well, we can find it whenever we do a search or when we click on more on the left hand side and click on all mail, all our archived emails will also appear. Now, a great way of keeping this organized and structured is by having labels. And we can set these labels up in a number of different ways. But here on the left hand side, you will see it says labels. Well, let's create a couple of labels. You see, I already have an action notes and waiting label list. I'm going to create an additional one. So I'm going to click on plus, create a new label, and I will call this schoolwork. Okay, I will create that label. And I will give that label a green label color. Now I'm going to create two additional labels. So I'm going to create another label. This is going to be for the subject teams. So we will say the maths subject team. And we are going to nest it under schoolwork. Let's create that. And as you can see, this is a nested label. I'm going to create another nested label. 
let's create a English subject team. Again, nest it underneath schoolwork. And then we can save that as well. Create. We can, again, give these a label color so you can really organize things so that everything is visually appealing and easy to find. Now, once you've set up all your labels, you're now going to go through the rest of your emails. Now, there's a very quick way that you can do this, and that is by simply opening them and deciding, do I archive this after I've labeled it, or do I just get rid of it? I no longer need it. So let's go ahead and have a look. We've got our email here. I no longer need this. Let's delete it. Open up the second one. No longer need this. Let's delete it. And once you've deleted it, it goes into your trash bin or into your rubbish bin. It can be found here on the left hand side. Bin, 30 days, and then it is removed. Okay, let's open up the next one. Appointment book. Let's say that this is an important one and I do need it for reference. First thing I'll do is go to the top where it says labels. I will add the relevant label. Let's add schoolwork, apply. And now instead of deleting, I'm going to click on archive. It is removed. And as you can see, it's no longer there in my inbox. I'm going to do the same for the next one. Ooh, security alert, no longer need this. Let's delete that. Google form submission. Let's say that this is an important one as well. It's from a different subject team. Let's label it first, maths. There we go, and archive. We now have a clean primary tab. Now we have more tabs here. You can see there's more tabs, promotions. Let's open this up. Okay, let's say that I want to keep this for reference because there's something in this newsletter that is very useful. I want to use it later, just not today. So let's go ahead and label this. We're going to say, okay, notes. This is part of my notes. We can do that and then archive it. Again, it is gone. I now have a clean, empty inbox, no emails whatsoever. So let's say that I now need access to all my emails from the maths subject team. No problem, I can click on my label here on the left hand side and it pulls up all the emails that have that label attached to it. You can also pull up my notes and here we have all the different emails that have that label attached. If I want to see everything, well then I can click on more and select all mail. This is a great way of really tidying up your inbox and getting ready for the next school year. I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.